I come to this field really primarily as a clinician who, uh, in my training seeing patients, really saw that there was a huge unmet need for patients suffering with cancer. And I really became inspired to try to do everything that I could to improve outcomes for these patients. And I felt that the way that I could do that the best was by contributing to their scientific understanding and our clinical understanding of cancer. My inspiration to become a scientist actually comes from my clinical background. So I'm, a, I'm trained um, as a medical oncologist and seeing patients and seeing how patients with cancer really um, over the years, it, this is not a, not a largely solved problem. Um, and realizing that the, um, the greatest strides that we can make in, in clinical cancer care actually goes back to what we understand about the science. So actually making progress in the science with all the tools and um, resources that we have to bear is the best way that we can devise novel therapies and bring them to the clinic and actually make a difference for our patients. I went to a medical school in Taiwan. During medical school, we actually learned a lot about you know, what happened in the body and the diseases. So we learned how, how to treat this patient. So instead of, I, I become very, very curious, instead of just learning all the knowledge discovered by other people than how to patient, we also know there's a lot of unanswered questions. So I'm actually very, very excited, actually hoping to participate in to answer this question. As part of my medical school, I also went to Harvard Medical School as exchange student for a couple of months. So that really also inspired me to understand the practical, how to actually this biomedical enterprise enable us to answer this question. So I'm really happy to be part of it. I was interested in science ever since I was a little kid and going up through high school and even into college, I was leaning more towards medical school. But once I got to college and saw what actual professors doing research in their lab was, it kind of got me excited and pretty quickly decided I was more interested in that than in working with tubes and dishes and, and, and actually answering questions than working directly with patients. And Frankly, I'm better with the tubes than I am with sick people. So it, it, was, it was a natural thing for me. It was a pretty quick decision once I hit that point. So getting into science was kind of a natural choice because that's always had the affinity for that. And then particular cancer research I became interested in um, in high school and um, partly because I, I like the combination of medicine with um, science. And that's what you kind of I was wanting to do, and also helping people, but at the same time understanding how things work. Um, so that's what I still enjoy about science, that we always can figure out um, how things work. We always have many puzzles to solve, and we continue doing that um, for many years to come. Actually, I'm very lucky. Uh, in China, we have a very uh, excellent basic education system. So at a very early age, they start to give you a very inspiring uh, scientific introduction into the even uh, elementary school. So that's why at the very early age, it's already inspired the people which is uh, interested in science, in solving problems, and then in, in exploring this unknown world. So, and then later gradually, you, uh, I started to uh, study in the college as a bioengineering, majored in bioengineering. So after that, then I decided to do more basic research to still driven by the curiosity, basically the curiosity coming from my very initial uh, experience, like to solve the basic problems, like people, how people understand the world, how people understand the, uh, um, the life itself.